Hey, what's going on guys? Beef Latin here with a brand new video today, and today we're going to be talking about egg incubation and everything surrounding it. Now, egg incubation is actually super duper handy and useful for getting pals that are uh, anywhere between the ranks of common to actually fairly rare uh, very early on without any combat involved. Now, you can find eggs randomly throughout the world, and they are going to be looking like... Uh, oversized eggs in a nest essentially you can really see them easier if you're flying on a mount but you're gonna need a couple of things for this egg incubator now the first way that you can get it is you have to build it first of course it is an ancient technology level 7 you need paldium fragments cloth stone and ancient civilization parts all of which are farmable so you can make multiples of these if you have multiple eggs now once you make them there are going to be timers for how long it's going to take each egg to make. Now these timers can range anywhere between a minute for some of the more common pals. However, if they are going to be anywhere in the rarer uh, pals or if they have the word large in front of them, I don't have any large ones on me, but it'll be like large common egg, large dark egg for example, those timers are going to be even further timers. So some of them can go half an hour, one hour, some of them are even two hours. And uh, I've heard of people say uh, that there are longer timers than even two hours. So these things can get pretty ridiculous. To lower these timers, there's a couple of different ways that you can lower them. One way is that you can look at the description of the egg incubator. So this one is seems just a little hot, which means that the campfire is actually heating it up a little bit too much. Egg incubation speed is only 50%. Now you can raise that up to 100%. By doing a few different things on uh, the um, description that it has there. So since it seems just a little bit too hot, I can actually build something called a cooler. Uh, now the cooler, I actually have one inside my house because I just found out about this recently. The cooler over here can actually cool the eggs down, but you need a pal to help you out. So you're going to need like a wing or a, a peng gullet to uh, freeze it. But if you have any other um, uh, ice pals, you just stick them in the base and they'll help you out with that. If uh, the eggs seem a little bit too cold, what you can do is you can stick a campfire next to it and it can heat it up to raise the incubation speed. Additionally, you could also build something called the heater. The heater is actually very expensive to be able to uh, build. Not only do you have to be level 17, but it does take a fair amount of resources especially if you're just early on in the game. It takes 20 ingots, 10 charcoal, and uh, five flame organs. However, two different heating sources will work next to an egg. Two of the same, so like two campfires or two heaters, those will not stack together. So if you have one campfire and one heater, those two will work fine. You do need a fire pal to be able to light the heater on fire. Uh, finally, another thing that you can do to change the eggs is you can uh, wait when it is daytime. So there are different temperatures during the day and night, and you can actually see that by the little moon down here. If you look right in this little corner here, there's a temperature gauge. Now, if it is in the dark blue, that means it is freezing temps, and you'll actually notice it if you're not wearing certain armor. If it is in uh, the dark orange, the orange, will mean that it is super hot, and if you don't have the right armor, you're actually going to start burning and losing HP. So those actually affect eggs as well, just to keep that in mind. This will be able to change all of the uh, egg timers. So this one says seems just a little cold. So if I had a heater placed right here, or if it was daytime, that incubation speed would go all the way up to 100%, which means that the timers go very, very fast. Uh, this is going to be super helpful when you get into the later eggs. I know the eggs that I showed were only like a minute long, which isn't too bad. But these are going to be super helpful once you start getting into the large eggs or once you start getting into extremely rare pals. Uh, especially the large like dragon eggs or large uh, any eggs, for example. But go ahead and use these tips. Play around with it. Find a good uh, setup for your incubators. If you can uh, line up multiples of them, you can get this done super fast. You get some good XP, and you also get uh, a shot at uh, very rare pals, especially if you're early on. I hope this was useful. I hope this was helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. 
My name is B Flattened, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Laters.